Hey everybody, today we'll do another problem and today we will continue on one, probably maybe two, two more problems, but it's going to be only one problem is going to be today. So, um, in the next video, we'll do another problem maybe on substitution and solving a uh, differential equation by substitution. But um, for now, it's going to be only one problem. But again, um, but again, it's going to be one more problem in this. Um, so, and we do solving, solving differential. equations right by substitution solution by substitution right so that's what we do okay so so let's get it started so let's get it started with a problem with this problem that says that we have we have y squared and we have a plus y and x like this i believe yes then we have a parenthesis we have a dx and then we have which is a minus so it's a minus minus s squared dy dy equal zero Okay, so so first of all, we have to we have to let y right or x equal to something. Let's pick y in this case. Y is equal to u x, right? So y is equal to u x. I am taking a derivative with respect to y and and dx right here, right? So I have to use, so taking the derivative with respect to y, right? So, and, so I have to use again the prior rule, which is going to be dy, right? It is going to be equal to, it's going to be equal to u, um yeah you can say x um u let me just do the x d u plus u d x right so i took the derivative now notice that i have my dy over here right so um, it is still using the dy dx form. I am using this form, right? With the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing. Now, so what I'm saying is I have a kind of implicit differentiation type of it, right? So, so now, now that I have that, what I can do is substitute, substitute, right? So substitute whatever u right whatever u u uh, whatever y is right so in this case it's going to be it's going to be u a square x square plus plus ux and then notice that I have another x over here this x right and I close the parenthesis dx minus x squared, right? Now in this, I have I have dy, so my dy is equal to this derivative, right? So I am going to substitute x. I'm going to substitute x du plus plus u dx equals zero, right? 
So, so now that I have this, I can, I have to work out this a little bit here. So I need to, to, to distribute this or multiply that, right? So I'm going to get u squared, u squared plus x, I'm sorry, u squared, x squared, right? Plus u plus u and multiplying those x's, I get x squared dx minus x squared. Now, what I can do right here, I can distribute that x in this parenthesis and I get that, I get that it's going to be equal to, in this case, or I can leave it like this, right? Might as well just leave it. Oh, let's, let's do it. So let's, let's distribute that. Which is going to be, is going to be x. So let me just distribute that. So x cubed, s cubed, d, s cubed, du plus x squared u dx equals zero. Right. So, matter of fact, I don't need this parenthesis. I don't need a parenthesis. So, equals zero, right? So, this is zero, zero, right? So, now, what I can do is distribute that dx inside. Distribute dx and I get, and I get x. Um, so, I get u squared, x squared, dx plus u x squared dx minus, right, minus this, right? So minus x cubed du plus x. This is negative. It's negative, right? because that is negative, All right? So when I do that, I get x squared du, x squared u, right? x squared u, u dx is equal to zero, right? Now notice, notice that this is the same thing right so i can actually just to make it make it x squared u here right to look the same now look that this are the same so those i can cancel those out right and once i cancel those out i get something like this i get i get i get u a square x square dx right minus x cube du equals zero okay so notice that i have something right i have something in common here so what i can do now is the following what i can do now is i can factor out an x square right or I can divide by x squared, doesn't matter, at this point. So I can divide by x squared here, by x squared, right? Once I divide that by x squared, you notice that, to make that clear, right? So I divide by x squared, by x squared, right? And of course, over here by x squared, it's no matter what, right? So now those cancel, right? This x squared cancel with two on the top, and I get, and I get right here when I do that, and I bring this over here. When I bring when I bring this over here, I get u u squared dx, right? And that cancel with one of them, right? Leaving negative 
x x du right and it's equal to zero okay so notice that right now it's it's getting there it's 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 getting a lot of a uh, um simple problem right so all right so now what i can do here is divide this by u right i can divide this by u by u right i can divide this by u squared by u squared once i get that right this u cancels out right and this u squared is belong to this du now i have dx minus x du over u squared so once i have this so notice that notice that i am getting there right so It looks very simple problem now we still have to do something right we still have to do something here I can't what I can do here is divided by X see that and I can divide it by X right when I divide up by X I get over here I get DX over X minus minus x minus minus x uh, I'm sorry minus minus du minus du over u is equal to zero okay so notice that notice that is getting there actually it's u squared this is u squared okay so in this case actually i can do two things i can integrate like this or i can move this is separated already so actually i can integrate like that right so when I integrate this, when I integrate this, what do I get? I get, I get right here, I get the ln, right here, I get the ln, let me just bring this. Of course, you got integrate them, right? So when I integrate that, I get what? I get ln. I get the ln of x, absolute value of x, right? Then right here, what I can do is bring this to the top. If I integrate that, right? So I bring that to the top. And I say that u to the minus 2, right? Because I bring the exponent to the top. And then right here, I get a constant c, right? Because it's 0. Now, now when I integrate that, right? I add 1 to it. So I add 1 to this exponent. I add 1 to this exponent. I add 1 to that, right? When I add 1 to that exponent, that becomes a neg negative 1, right? So ln absolute value of x, right? Minus, minus, right? Minus u over 1, right? Now, that is equal to, that is equal to what? That is equal to now when you when you the 
do that um, when you do the, the integral you divide it by the negative right so so when you divide by the negative by the negative exponent that becomes ln of absolute value of u and you divide that by a negative which becomes a positive with this so it is it is and then you bring this down right and become 1 over u is equal to c. Now, now in this case, I have to do a little more. So what I can do right here is that, is that because, because y is equal to, y is equal to, to x, to ux, right? Because y is equal to ux, right? Now I can say that, y is equal to u x right so i have to solve for i have to solve for 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 u right because i have a u at the bottom here right so when i solve for u for u i get divided by x on both sides right and i get u is equal to y over x right u is equal to y over x, right? All right, now, this is something that we can use, right? Now, this is something that we can use. Here. So notice that in order for me, this is how I look at it. This is kind of complicated because if I something to that u over here is going to complicate that. What I can do is multiply this across, right? Multiply this across, right? Let me just let me just move that equal sign a little bit to right to have a little more room. Right now, what I can do is multiply this by u. Right? Multiply this by u. Right? Multiply everything by u. Right? Or, or I can say u c. Doesn't matter. Right? So now, notice that, that this u cancel with that u. Right? Now, I get u. I get u. L and x. Absolute value of x plus 1 is equal to, to c times u, whatever. Right. Now, now let me substitute u is equal to, to y over x. So I get, I get, I get y over x, right, ln of absolute value of x, right, and then plus 1, plus 1, right, is equal to, is equal to c, y over x, right. Now, notice that I need, my main goal is to have like a Y in this, right? That's our goal. What we can do, we can get rid of this X, right? We can get rid of this X by simply do this. So what I can do is multiply by X, right? When I multiply by X across, right? And of course, this this one right here also will be multiplied by x, right? So this x cancels out with that x. That x cancels out with that x, right? And I get that y. And I get that y. Y ln absolute value of x. 
a ln absolute value of x, right? Plus x, right? And multiplying that x times that one, and that is equal to c y. Now, this is the solution for the problem, right? I think the books have this back here, but this is the same thing. The books has something like this. So the books has x plus plus y ln of absolute value of x is equal to c y. So now that is both of these solutions are the same. So So that's the solution for the problem. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, just give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel and share share this video with anybody who want to learn, you know, differential equations. And remember, this is the Conservative Engineering Academy. We do every day, we learn something, something, just a little bit of something every day. Because, because the grace of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is good. Alright. So I guess I see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.